Download the ISO from the official website. Both direct download and torrent links are available. You will have to create a live USB of Arch Linux from the ISO you just downloaded. You may use the Etcher GUI tool to create the live USB. It is available for both Windows and Linux. Once you have created a live USB for Arch Linux, shut down your PC. Plug in your USB and boot your system. While booting, keep pressing F2, F10 or F12 key, depending upon your system, to access UEFI boot settings. In UEFI settings, boot from USB or removable disk. Once you do that and the system boots, you should see an option like this. Select Arch Linux UEFI option to start the live medium. Before starting the Arch install script, let's change the download limit of Pac-Man. Edit the Pac-Man configuration using this command. Here, uncomment the parallel download option and set a value according to your internet speed. If you have a decent internet speed, set the parallel download count to 10. Then run this commands. Let's start the arch install script with the command in the screen. This will start the text-based Arch installation script. The first setting in the installer is the installation language. This option sets what language is used in the terminal user interface. You should set your locale and keyboard settings. Here, if you are okay with the defaults, you can skip to the next setting. Press the Enter key on the mirrors in the main menu of Arch install script. This will bring you to the mirror selection section. Enter the mirror region. This will provide a list of countries. You can select a country near your location for a faster network. Just use the tab key to select or mark an entry. The mirrors from selected countries will be listed. Move to back and click enter. Now, you need to partition your disk. On the main menu, select Disk Configuration. Here, use the option Use a Best Effort Default Partition Layout. In the next dialog, use the Tab key to select your hard disk device and press the Enter key. Choose a partition type. 
Here, I am going with BTRFS partition. You can pick extension 4, a very well-tested file system, or XFS, F2FS etc. On the next screen, you will be asked to use a default subvolume structure or not. Let's say you select yes. You will be asked to pick compression or disable copy on right. It is advised to select compression to enable a ZSTD compression. This will create a partition for you with subvolumes. Use the back button to go to the installer main menu. Select the disk encryption option from the main menu. Select the partitions that need to be encrypted using the tab key. By default, it is set to systemd boot. This is a simple bootloader for those who expect simplicity. If you require familiar functionality, go for grub bootloader. Next is root password. Select it using enter key. Then enter and confirm a strong root password. It is important to create a regular user account other than root account. This is for day-to-day -day purposes. On user section, select add a user option. Make the created user super user by selecting the yes option. Here, select the desktop option. On this next screen, select a desktop using the tab key and press enter. For audio settings, you can select pipe wire or pulse audio. You can either go with the default Linux kernel or select multiple kernels. In the network configuration settings, select use network manager option. Now, just enter the proper name of the packages you want to install, separated with space. You can enable multi-lib repositories using this setting. Select items using the tab key and press enter. Search and set the time zone based on your location. Once all the settings have been done, you can use the install option to start the installation procedure. You will be asked to verify the installation configurations you have set. Once satisfied, enter on yes option.
Once the Arch install script finishes, it will ask you to CRUD into the system for further settings. You can give NO to the question if you have nothing planned to do. You can now shut down the system. Once the system is shut down, remove the USB device from the port and boot the system. This will bring you to the encryption page if you have enabled encryption. Enter the password you have set. You will reach the login page. Enter the password to log in to your system. Enjoy Arch Linux with BTRFS and encrypted drive.